This is the Cholo News Report for Tuesday 24, April, 2018. A van strikes a group of pedestrians in Toronto, Canada, killing 10 and injuring 15. The driver then flees the scene but is later arrested, according to the Toronto Police Service, who are still handling the investigation. City Police Chief Mark Saunders told a news conference that the incident appeared to be deliberate but the motive was still unknown. Canadian Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale, in a tweet thanking the emergency services, referred to the incident as a horrific attack. About 18 miles away in the city centre, foreign ministers of the G7 leading industrialized nations Canada, the United States, Britain, France, Germany, Italy and Japan were holding meetings. Ten people have been killed and 15 injured after a van sped onto a sidewalk in Toronto, plowing through throngs of pedestrians and leaving a trail of devastation that stretched several city blocks. The van, bearing the rider truck rental and leasing logo, sat on a side street, its front crumpled and grill missing. A sword coalition, airstrike kills Yemen's Supreme Political Council President Salah Ali al Somad, who was considered the most senior healthy official in Sanok. The news came hours after rebel health officials said at least 20 people were killed in a coalition airstrike on a wedding party in Hachchor province on Sunday night. United Nations Cultural Authority UNESCO awards imprisoned Egyptian photojournalist Mohamed Abu Zaid, the 2018 Guillermo Connor World Press Freedom Prize, drawing criticism from Egypt. Abu Zaid faces the death penalty. Shalkan, who is still in detention, and more than 700 other people face many charges, which include belonging to the banned Muslim Brotherhood, possessing firearms and murder. International rights organizations, including Amnesty International and the Committee to Protect Journalists, have repeatedly denounced Shalkan's imprisonment and urged the Egyptian authorities to drop charges against him. Rights groups say a crackdown by the government of President Abdel Fattah El Sisi has muzzled freedom of expression after the overthrow of Mohamed Mursi of the Muslim Brotherhood in mid-2013. Israeli lawmakers Ayuval Steinitz and Oren Hazen accused Jerusalem-born actress Natalie Portman of anti-Semitism and seek to revoke her citizenship with Hazen calling her a little hypocrite liar after she decides not to travel to Israel and accept the United States' 2 million Genesis Prize. Israeli MP Oren Hazen on I-24 News on April 23, 2018, slammed Israeli-born Hollywood actress Natalie Portman for declining attendance at the Genesis Prize ceremony in Israel.